Less than an hour ago, the Labor Department released new numbers showing the consumer price index, that basically follows inflation, it spiked to 4.2 percent compared to where we were a year ago. That is the biggest jump we have seen since 2008. If you combine that with shortages on everything from copper to corn, all of this is fueling Republican criticism about inflation and fears that Biden's spending plans are going to make the problem even worse. Shannon Pettypiece is senior White House reporter for NBC News and Damian Paletta, economics editor for The Washington Post. Shannon, even if this is all predictable and logical, which it is, in the short term, it's an obstacle for this White House. How are they spinning it? Right. And it's certainly something Republicans have been seizing on. You added as one more thing to the long list of reasons Republicans say they oppose the spending bill. You know, we will see what the administration has to say after these, this big jump today. Um, we are going to hear from the president a bit later in a couple hours. Maybe he'll address this then. But so far, administration officials have been downplaying this risk of inflation. We heard uh, the Fed chairman, Jay Powell, was pressed on this by Republicans in Congress. He said that he did not think uh, inflation would be particularly large or persistent. We also heard just last week uh, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen seeming to walk back remarks saying that she thought interest rates might have to go up to sort of cool down the economy. Later on, she said she didn't think uh, inflation would be a big risk. And the case that she and others have been making is that this infrastructure spending is needed and any inflation is going to be short term. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.